Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 4. Last time was uh, just another series of clips, and Admiral Tolwin had made his way onto the BWS Intrepid. And uh, we said that we're not going to let him go. But unfortunately, Maniac let him go, so now he's off running around, and that can't possibly be good for us. But hey, Pliers is there, so what's up, Pliers? Hey, got some good news, kid. I can always use some of that. Your Karathi pals are pretty helpful with my cloaker gadget. You got it working. Yeah, the cat showed me how to get some extra charges out of the crystal that runs it. Problem is, I only got one of them crystals left, so you can forget about having a wingman along. A fly next to a guy who ain't cloaked kind of defeats the purpose anyway, right? And, of course, the crystal's still going to burn out sooner or later. Hopefully later. Personally, I'd like to see us raiding those mines where they dig up those crystals. But they're pretty deep in confed territory. Anyways... Get around with it, kid. Hmm. So the Kilrathi helped us out, and they were experts at cloaking. And a wingman takes away my kills. I prefer a wingman. Who needs wingman? I prefer. Who needs wingman? Yeah, who needs a wingman? Make me invisible, Papyrus. <laughs> Your wish is my command, kid. I was gonna help out Pliers too. He's a good guy. All right, let's go over here to the galley. Yeah, we see Maniac and Digger. It looks like they're having a bit of an argument there. Hmm. I never met a flyboy who could hump a 60 kilo war pack across 30 clicks of double gravity terrain. You guys are soft work cows. Oh, we're so. Let me tell you about soft. I took a marine on a little joyride once. I jammed the stick, took the skyscraper climb, huh? Cut the juice. Reignited halfway through our fall, I flipped into a bank and roll, little 360. I was just warming up. I look in the back. The grunt has tossed his cookies, passed out. Just from taking a quarter G to five Gs. The rejects at Space Academy, they make Marines. <laughs> what a crap. You guys go for the cockpit because you can't cut it up close and personal. Up close and personal, I hear Marines have no staying power. Marines go all night long and then some. Not with their sabers extended. I'll show you some staying power. Huh? You want a piece of me? I'll Come kick on. your ass. Come on. Whoa, this is getting intense. After a little phallic battle? This, I gotta see. Hmm. Maniac's gonna get creamed. Maniac is gonna get creamed, but... This, I gotta see. Oh, hell yeah. Come on! Come on! All right, all right! All right! All right. Thanks for backing me up, Colonel. What are you talking about? You brought it on yourself. I thought fighter jacks were supposed to stick together. I, for one, stand behind my uniform. Yeah, when well, you're not disgracing it. Let's see what kind of backup you get next time I fly with you. And I'm okay with that, because Maniac never listens to what I say anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Besides, it's always funny getting mani or seeing Maniac get popped, even though he is hilarious. All right, well, enough with the fun stuff. Let's uh, go on with the mission, shall we? Lieutenant. Yeah, uh, everybody here? All right. Colonel, I'm here in spirit on commanding a fleet action. As you know, we're here to raid a shipyard. But there are several other targets we'd like to acquire first. Well, I'm ready to review them, Admiral. Now, this is a testing site within an asteroid belt where Confed shakes down their newly built fighters. We'd love to confiscate a few. Second, the ring planet in this system is orbited by a weapons manufacturing plant, another prime target. And finally, we've zeroed in on a carrier, poorly guarded, undergoing some ad hoc repairs near the outermost planet. Now, I'm downloading mission specifics and a pre-recorded briefing for each operation. I'll leave you to size up the tactical situation, Colonel, and make the decision on how to proceed. Good luck. Well, this is another kind of cool twist of the game. We get to pick the mission that we want to fly. Okay, so we can choose to attack the carrier. We can do that. To attack the manufacturing plant. That's cool. Or we can choose to steal some fighters. Of course we're going to steal the fighters. Duh. This asteroid belt hides a testing ground for Confed 
these newly built fighters. Now, one hitch is that they've got an electronic moat around the site, including a sophisticated radar device, which should probably be your initial target, if you can sneak up on it. Now, once you've disabled the fighters, we'll send in a cap ship from our fleet to pick them up. We track on their radar. They're going to have all kinds of reinforcements to check us. Natural flying visible. Our leech gun should be safe with these fighters. All right, people, let's go. All right. Well, we're going to go steal some fighters. That's going to be kind of cool. All right, let me uh, check my time real quick. Okay, this might be a two-parter, but that's okay. All right, let's configure our ship load out. Bring me back a ship as clean as you did last time, and I'll show you what old pliers can do. All right. So anyways, we're going to want to take some um, some image rec missiles, a couple set of image rec missiles, and then we're actually going to use pliers shut up. I've seen more than one bogey bite because he didn't watch out for these creepers. They track, you know? So we're going to use some also leech missiles as well, because that's going to be a great way for us to disable those fighters. All right, very good. Wingman, do I get to pick a wingman? Yep, I get to pick a wingman for this one. That's cool. Uh, let's take Panther. I felt bad for kind of uh, um, dissing her uh, in the previous um, system there. So, yeah, we'll take Panther. Why not? All right. Let's do it. All right, sounds very good. All right, we're doing good here. We're uh, we're all uh, doing good. Banshee's fully powered up. Got lasers, got missiles. We're in good shape. All right, and let's go ahead and cloak. Awesome. Let's head over to Nav One. All right, now I'm completely undetected, and no one can Wait see what's going on. So let's just go ahead and bypass this zone. Don't need to worry about that. All right, and now we're here at our real target, the Bearcats. Now, we want to switch over to our Leech Missiles. And now, decloak. And here we go. Now, we want to disable these fighters because these are the new prototype fighters that, um, that, content, that the fighters are talking about. So lock on, fire. And disabled. Good. Now you want to disable all of these fighters because uh, then Confed's going to come and pick them up. So the strategy here is just uh, kind of stay with them, track them from behind, lock and fire, and hopefully you get them. I brought some extra leech missiles just in case uh, we we failed. Now watch out for being shot from behind. Stay with them. Fire! Come on. And then the fly box next to Come on, get him. Get him! Dang it. Well, hopefully this will work out. Nah, of course we do. Oh, Hawk, you'll be fine, buddy. Come on. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna wanna leash these things, stick with it. Fire! Good, got him. All right, so I'll leech this last one here, then take out the other one with my missiles, and then be back once I'm done with it. Mission complete. All right, we got him. We've successfully leached all of them. Nice work, Colonel. This is the BWS Tango, and we're here to collect those birds. We'll take it from here. Sweet. Nice job. Let's get out of here. Yay, success. Now we get to fly some cool new fighters, possibly. Need clearance. You're cleared, Colonel. Oh, I hear Pliers is doing cartwheels across the launch deck, so take care not to run them over. <laughs> well, we always try to help out, you know, the little people. It's kind of what we do. Ah, I love victory. All right. Well, now we've captured some fighters. What could we possibly get to do with them? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.